Hey everybody, quick, quick video. I just wanted to give you um, an update on the beta results. Um, if you're wondering how I even got them, I was sneaky, sneaky, sneaky and uh, signed a records release at the lab this morning so that I could call and get my own results. <laughs> because, yeah, I wasn't gonna wait till Monday. No, 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 no. Um, and uh, drum roll, it was 74, which honestly I was expecting it to be a little bit higher. Um, but from what I'm reading, it seems to be pretty average and normal, like, for an FET cycle or whatever, and I wasn't even really officially eight days past transfer because I did my labs at like 6 a.m. Um, and I wasn't really officially eight days past transfer until like, you know, two, three o'clock in the afternoon. So um, at this point, we just need to pray that they double and that everything goes good. And on Monday, I go back for a repeat. Um, and I'm definitely not waiting for the doctor to call me back. Um, I'm gonna sign another records release and get my results early. So I should have results around like 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. So please, Lord, please, please, please let this work. Let the numbers just rise and, and double, triple, whatever they need to do. Um, and help us to get to ultrasound with a sticky baby bean and a heartbeat, because this is, you know, it's like every step is another another moment where you're agonizing on is this gonna work? Is this gonna stick? Is this is this viable? Whatever. It's just so hard, um, especially if you've had you know losses in the past or whatever. Um, but I've never had my beta be this high this early before, so it's definitely encouraging, and I'm really really hopeful. Um, it's still just nerve wracking going through this whole process. And so we're just praying and praying and praying. Um, I've been trying to put on some of my favorite songs. Uh, one of them is the No Longer Slaves by Bethel Music. And I absolutely love that song. It just reminds me um, not to be a slave to fear and my anxiety and stuff and um, to trust in God and, and know who I am in him. And um, I just have to keep reminding myself of that every moment because this whole process just makes you want to freak out about everything. And I don't even really have a reason to this time around. It's just so hard not to after so many horrible things have happened and, you know, over the years. <clears throat> and um, to top it off, I had um, booked an appointment a couple months ago to get established with the high-risk OBGYN's office to kind of go over my history and let them know what we were doing and they ended up changing my appointment and pushing it out a little bit more and it happened to fall on today <clears throat> so I went in today and uh, I had to go over everything all my history everything and it was really emotional um, I was so happy my husband just incidentally happened to get the half a the rest of the day off and got to go with me um, and the doctor was amazing she was so sweet I mean she even hugged me said she was praying for us to be successful this time and that everything would be great um, and gave us the referral to the MFM and um, even like preemptively gave me all my prenatal blood work that I need to get done once I get released from the RE so I have everything I need um, it's just it's really encouraging and I'm really thankful that um, that I was able to go and, and do that and get past this that part because giving your history and kind of reliving everything again it's really intense so um anyways that's over with um did a bunch more shopping now I'm home I'm exhausted um I just want to lay in bed and, and watch some tv and do nothing for the rest of the weekend um and hopefully um try not to test too much. Would you believe freaking Walmart had no more first responses anywhere? So we even made them check in the back room. Nothing. Gone. I was like, are you kidding me? And I was so tired and already had run around a bunch of different stores earlier that I was not going back around to go find some. So I got a clear blue weeks estimator thing and a bunch of other cheapy 88 cent tests, which incidentally have been pretty good um, as far as progression. But nonetheless, I was really wanting those first responses again. So I was kind of ticked off about that. But um, I'm going to try not to drive myself crazy with that. Try to just test like once a day in the morning and just kind of see the progression in between betas because it's so hard not to freak out. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there. So go back for, like I say, beta on Monday and um, I'll have results and we'll see how it goes from there. And they'll give me, you know, instruction on what to do from there and, and when to go for ultrasound or whatever. So I'm just trying to breathe, trying to um, be thankful for where we're at, thankful that this process at least worked and that we're getting, we had a positive beta today that was good. Like I said, I really kind of expected it to be higher, but um, as far as I know, it seems good. So um, I'm just going to pray and um, try to focus on the scriptures that I've been holding on to for the last couple of weeks and um, just think positive and 
you know, um, surround myself with things that, that make me happy and joyful and, um, yeah, spend the time with the family this weekend and we're just going to kind of take some deep breaths and enjoy where we are in life right now at this exact moment and do it moment by moment by moment because that's all I can do. I can't, I can't make the time go by any faster. I can't make anything be what it is already going to be. So we just have to rest in this, this moment and these, these days and, um, take it step by step. So yeah, that's, that's my update for today. Um, I don't know if I'll get around to another one until Monday or not, but for now, that's all I have. I hope everybody has a good weekend.